Hey gang, welcome back to chapter 20 of the Crucible Chronicles, where once again, we are participating in the ill-advised challenge. Challenge, if you will? I don't know. I don't even know what to call this thing, aside from Savage Clash Reversal. Uh, if you haven't seen an episode of this chapter yet, uh, to bring you up to speed, Savage Clash Reversal is simply, we play Reversal, uh, cue a random game of Reversal, uh, but bring a really slamming deck. Uh, so uh, we are working our way up the highest ranked decks that we have uh, that I have left in my collection. Um, and at this point, they're all they're all like relatively spicy. Um, so without further ado, let's hop into uh, take a look at the deck. Uh, and then I have a little bit of announcement right after that before we get into the game. Uh, so first of all, the deck. This is Fierce Vladimir for, from Gdansk. Um, this is actually a Polish deck that was uh, sent my way, thanks uh, to Not Tonight. This is a sealed deck, so um, she sent me a couple of sealed decks uh, and because uh, I was interested in getting some some Polish language decks uh, and I'm very excited to have opened uh, some cool decks. Uh, but this is the, the by, by by far the the highest rated of, of the Polish decks that I have. Um, it uh, has Dis Saurian Untamed. Uh, we got a couple Gorianas Attendants, so uh, we got some, some decent Ember there. We got some Solid Ember Control. Uh, got the Double Infernus, of course. Um, double Infernus, Double Stirring Grave. We got Markadis, so some nice, nice uh, control, nice Ember Control, some nice um, abilities to take the deck that we're going to be playing, the Reversal deck we're presumably going to be playing, and, and just make it worthless. Uh, well, it looks like this deck should be able to pull that off. Uh, on top of that, we've got uh, some decent Ember Control. We got Faust. We got double Citizen sh to sh uh, Citizen Tricks as well as Monument to Tricks. Got the Library of Polosaurus, Ancient Power to protect some of that stuff. Um, all very, all very nasty. Uh, and on top of that, didn't even mention we got the Vault's Blessing with. What does it have only? I guess only eight mutants. Not too bad. Um, I think it's going to be probably challenging for us to take this deck down, uh, but I will say there is one key weakness, at least that I've identified with the deck so far, uh, and it's right here. It doesn't have a whole lot of creature control outside of uh, outside of fighting on the board. Uh, and I would actually I would actually reckon it really doesn't have anything aside from Dance of Doom outside of fighting on the board. Uh, so we'll see if we can manage to thwart uh, Vladimir from Gdansk, fierce Vladimir from Gdansk. Uh, but before we hop into that, um, hop into today's game, I did want to mention that this Saturday, uh, so your this video is coming out on Tuesday, uh, and this this uh, this Saturday, March thirteenth, uh, there's going to be the big one presented by the Final Swindle. Um, Karen from uh, the Final Swindle is putting this event on uh, with some other folks as well. Uh, it is a two deck survival. Uh, fundraiser, if you will, uh, benefiting uh, Doctors Without Borders. Uh, so there's an entry donation of $10. Uh, half of that, uh, so $5 of that will go towards a prize pool for the top three players, I believe. Um, and then the other half of that um, is going to go, is going to be donated to MSF for Doctors Without Borders. Uh, additionally, on top of that, uh, anything that's donated, um, like from people uh, viewing the tournament on the day of, uh, will will go directly all 100 of that will go directly to uh, doctors without borders uh, if you're interested in participating in this um i'll drop a link to this website uh, you can also kind of see the details here but i'll drop a link to this website in the video description below um uh, if you're interested in just watching <laughs> or potentially uh, supporting through kind of uh viewing the the event and uh, potentially donating uh, live uh, when the event is actually happening. Uh, it's actually going to be streamed on my channel, which is crazy. Uh, very, very thankful for the opportunity to be able to uh, host the tournaments. Um, so that is, of course, twitch.tv slash Mordavos. Uh, I am going to be joined by uh, Zach from Call of Discovery, the uh, the lovely, absolutely lovely podcast. Um, Zach is going to be joining me for some commentary. Uh, this should be a good time. So uh, if you're interested in watching great Keyforge or just interested in watching Keyforge in general, uh, or if you are, you know, are passionate about uh, good causes like Doctors Without Borders, be sure to uh, be sure to check this out. Uh, I would would appreciate that. Uh, anyways, let's hop into today's game and see, uh, see if we can, if we can overcome the savage clash that is going to be this reversal game. Let's see. Oh, man, this is great. Not gonna lie. I started a game earlier uh, and then realized it wasn't reversal. <laughs> Realized it wasn't reversal. 
Uh, we are playing with Cecil Serpent, Con de Goffre. It's got some Mars Sanctum Shadows. Uh, look at this. It has double Gorm of Om, triple Nexus. There's some uh, there's there's some artifact control. Uh, we'll see we'll see if it ends up doing anything for us. Um, boy, how do we want to start this game? <laughs> how do we want to start this game? I don't know if I like any of that, but I don't know if it's going to get any better. But let's find out. Oh, all right, there we go. That's not bad. Each time you play an artifact, steal one. So we could throw down this bulwark. Uh, let's do that. We'll throw down this bulwark. Uh, and then we can uh, get this Carlo Phantom down and then play the Seeker Needle. Assuming our opponent uh, gains some Ember. Hopefully. Hopefully they gain some Ember. I will say, uh, this deck, I don't think it has like a huge amount of Ember. What was it? We were looking at it earlier. Like, um, had a 11 or something. 11 uh, raw amber pips. Oh, interesting. So the Blossom Drake comes down. Uh, shutting down shutting down our artifacts. That's fine. We'll go Shadows. We should still be able to steal. Each time you play an artifact, steal one. We still get to play it. Uh, so we steal that one. We'll play out the Nexus. Uh, boy. You know, let's... Sure, let's play it. Let's play the Bad Penny. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got Gorm. We got the double Gorm and the Hallowed Blaster. All right, so the Exalt and Steel. Exalt and Steel, Sagittarius Gaze to Exalt my Nexus. Using the damage on the Shrix, it's pretty handy. And they do Exalt the Faust and Ancient Power, very nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and call Sanctum then, I suppose. Is that right? Yeah, let's call Sanctum. We'll play the Hallowed Blaster, we'll play the Gormavom, play a second Gormavom. Uh, probably need to kill this uh, this Faust, so. Oh, this is Bulwark. <laughs> the dream! <laughs> Did I play this Terms of Redress? Sure, let's just play it for the Ember. <laughs> Bone is just like, are you kidding me right now? That Carlo Phantom doing some absolute work. Doing some absolute work. <laughs> That's Bullocks. Our opponent says it's Bullocks. This Blossom Drake is absolutely stacked. Oh, nice. The, the Histrocog. Um. Well, at least the Dominator Bobble isn't going to get some use. So, what do we want to do here? Probably call back to Sanctum. Um, probably need to kill this Faust. Yeah, I think we need to kill this Faust. Um, we can throw down the Raiding Knight. To capture one. Uh, protect the weak on the Raiding Knight. And then we'll throw down Lady Maxina. Oh, should I use that? I should have used the Hell. Oh, I couldn't have used the Hell Blaster. That's right. Um, I think actually the Histrocog is maybe a little more annoying. Although uh, we could have gotten a key, I guess not. They had to, they had the second citizen citizen tricks. So hmm, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? I think I kind of like uh. Maybe Sanctum again? Do we want to do Sanctum again? I could kill Shrix. I could kill both Shrixes, actually. We go Sanctum. Um, guess we fight. Fight there. Uh, we'll fight Shrix. Uh, we'll play Inspiration. To fight that Shrix. And we'll call it good. 
So we're up to seven ember. We're up to seven ember. Uh, we got this protectrix. So we're drawing a single sanctum card at a time. Uh, a single sanctum card at a time. So very interesting. What are we worried about here? What are we worried about here? I, I think probably I need to take this shadow's turn uh, and just remind myself that I need to like just put a bunch of creatures on the board because my opponent can't deal with it. Uh, oh yeah, the Blossom Drake just fights. Nice. Oh, they get both Citizen Trixes back. Brutal. Brutal. I think we go Shadows here. Could go Shadows. Uh, probably Reap here. We'll reap. Um, I, oh, we can't see Green Noodle. That's right. Uh, I guess we play this Dusk Runner on the Nexus. It's going to reap. Use the Dominator Bobble, which doesn't do anything. Play out Nexus. Play out Naughty. And then we play the Miasma. Uh, so we at least prevent them from forging. Prevent them from forging. Um, that's pretty good. Interesting. So we could uh, we could sample collect the Blossom Drake. Or we will be able to next turn. Man, there's 12 Ember. That is a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, I think they maybe meant to fight with the Sniffle Ape. Yeah, I'd probably fight this Nexus. That would make sense. That would make sense. Mm, see, the problem here is they can also just reap for another five next turn and pretty much close out the game. So, um, the sample collection is not going to be particularly effective for us. This Sniffle Ape. So I can't actually kill the Sniffle Queen, can we? Do we take the Mars turn? I think we probably need to move some cards. But I do need to get rid of that uh, that Blossom Drake. Uh, so we'll play out the Mind Warper. Um, Biomatrix backup. So I could... What, what do I want to Biomatrix backup? Hmm. Probably the Mind Warper. For no real reason. Uh, I got the second Biomatrix backup to throw onto. We could just put on the Mind Warper again. Because uh, I don't really want to clog up my archives. We haven't take, taken much in the ways of a Mars turn. Alright, so we see a Saurian turn. That's actually pretty... I'm pretty happy about that, actually. So we got Monument to Shrix coming down. We got Console Primus moving some member around. Okay, so we survived a turn. We survived a turn. It's very good. Very good. This Phosphorus Stars is going to be great. Absolutely great. Um, so we'll go... Ooh, how do they come? Purge a creature with power 5 or higher. Also could be good, but this Mars turn is pretty tough to, uh, pretty tough to deny. So we sample collect, we sample collect the Blossom Drake. So what we'll do is we'll action one onto the Blossom Drake. Uh, we'll sample collect the Blossom Drake. We'll Gorm of Om, the Monument to Strix. We'll Gorm of Om, the Dominator Bobble. Play Phosphorus Stars to stun absolutely everything. And then play out Zorg. See what that does for us. Oh, oh, oh. It's like we're playing Reversal. It's like we're playing Reversal and we all we got are Reversal decks. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so we've got this oubliette. We could deal with this Shrix. Deal with this Shrix, reclaim that Ember. Uh, unstun here. We do have a bad penny, so we could generate some Ember. All right, we got the Eaton's Jar. Let's see if they hit the... What 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 would we hit? Probably Nexus, just because there's a bunch of them. Although we haven't seen the Mega Mouths, so uh, Mega Mouths could be a good one. And there's also two of them. Um, hopefully not the Oubliette, though. Because I got plans for that. I got plans for that Oubliette. Uh, they have... They, ha they have dealt with my Mind Warper, which is now in the archives again. Dance of Doom to destroy all creatures with power two. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I see, I see. Thinking, they are thinking, all good. Ooh, interesting. Uh, goes after the, the Martian Hounds. It's fine. Where we're going, we don't need a uh, Martian Hounds. Oh, that really hurts. Yeah, that re that really hurts. That Mercadis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was going to hurt pretty much any way it got played. But that is the way to make it hurt the most. I think we uh, we probably just lose. I think we just lose. Um, we might as well. I don't think it's worth picking up our archives. They just took a, they did Saurian and, you know what, uh, we're not going to get any value out of it. Let's just keep that uh, in the archives and we'll remove that stun. We'll remove that stun. Uh, yeah, we see a Saurian turn. Uh, Console Primus got unstunned, was it from the Essence scale? Yeah, I think it was. Oh. Then the Shrix is going to move that ember too. Yeah, yeah. All of our plans. And Faust comes back. <clears throat> Do they have the Vault's Blessing though? That's a real question. Uh, that would be an untamed, so uh, it doesn't matter right now. Saurus, Saurus Rex is, is down on the board, has been deployed. Um, what do we have left that's going to help us out here? We've got a bunch of Mars that isn't going to help us out. Um, but I think we take the Shadow's turn. Uh, we take the Shadow's turn. We'll uh, unstun the Nexus. We'll probably actually just see Seeker... Needle, this ooh, console prime. It doesn't really matter though, right? Because this Faust is still on the board. So, I mean, and they have the library of so it really, really doesn't matter what I do here. Uh, let's just discard the bad penny. Uh, we'll play out the Nexus. We'll Seeker Needle, console primus, uh, and get rid of that. So up to six Ember, but we're not on check. Uh, there's there's that ammonia clouds which could have been useful, and we're uh, we're all out of steam. We got the uh, the, the marauder, <laughs> the marauder down the pipe, but that's not going to do much. It's not going to do much. We have this cleansing wave, uh, which could it's going to give us three, four, four right now. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. Purge creature with power five or higher, so not the snareth. Uh, what did they purge? Our Biomatrix backup. So obviously uh, feeling feeling a bit threatened by our six Ember, uh, choosing to to go for the Ember control option, um, and uh, little <laughs> little did we know we also weren't going to be getting enough creature control to deal with that deck. <laughs> so what I thought was going to be the weakness uh, was it was the reverse weakness. Um, here we go. So we got the got the the double nexus. We could actually use uh, the essence scale. We could use the library of Polosaurus. 
so that could be interesting. Uh, which doesn't really do much for us there. We get a Mars turn. We can go out with some go out with some steam here. Kind of like I kind of like that. Uh, you know, would otherwise be setting up for a pretty nice cleansing wave turn. <clears throat> or I can just go and get a bunch of ember. Let's do the Mars turn. It's it's the flashy thing. Uh, we'll ammonia clouds. We'll ammonia clouds. Uh, we'll sample collect. Let's see, so we get to sample collect two. Snoret and Faust, probably. Snoret, Faust. Uh, play out our Mega Mouth, and we'll call that it. GG. GG to our opponents. They played, they played, uh, they played Vladimir well. <laughs> I feel like this was a, a little bit more of what I was expecting out of this series. Uh, so I'm glad we could, glad we could deliver uh, on kind of the expected outcome. Um, you know, I thought I thought maybe there was a chance going into this we could we could kind of get uh, we could we could utilize the weakness of that deck. Um, and I think a lot of people when they think um, when they think about uh, a reversal deck, they they'll just like go and grab whatever their lowest sass is, which often ends up being like a high creature count deck. Um, and that can you know uh, i think that is one of the weaknesses of of the deck that we handed to our opponent uh not uh, apparently enough of a weakness um because uh we just were not able to establish anything on the board and i think uh that probably has something to do with this deck um you know it just doesn't really have the board presence so it's probably a, a good example of uh of where someone hasn't opted to just grab their lowest sass deck or or may may maybe they did it just happens to also be a deck that doesn't uh, have a huge amount of board presence. Uh, I was pretty excited we got that Carlo Phantom uh, nonsense off at the at the beginning. Uh, too bad that that couldn't tilt our opponent enough to uh, make a misplay a bunch. But <laughs> anyways, that uh, is gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, again, reminder in the video description there will be a link to the final swindles, the big one tournament, which is happening uh, this Saturday. Uh, and I do hope you'll uh, at least stop by if you can. Uh, and if you're interested in participating, then be sure to. Uh, click that link and check out the details uh, and yeah maybe i'll see you there uh, until next time thanks for watching and catch you later